Module 1, Segment 1, System Basics 1. The objectives of this training segment are to log into Quantum Control, to familiarize yourself with the core modules and icons, how to work with the module drop-down menus, how to create new user logins and set security privileges. We will begin by learning how to log into Quantum Control. Locate the Quantum Control icon on your desktop. Launch Quantum Control by double-clicking on the icon. The Quantum Control splash screen will appear and the user login window will open. In a moment, we will learn how to create usernames and passwords. For now, we will log into Quantum using the standard system administrator's username and password. In the Username field, type in SYSDBA. The Username field is not case sensitive, meaning usernames can be typed in either upper or lower case characters. The Password field, however, is case sensitive. In lower case letters, type in the password master key M A S T E R. K E Y. Once you have typed in both the username and password, select the OK command. You will be brought to the Quantum Control desktop. This is the default desktop screen that all users will see when they log in. Let's review the core module icons that you will be working with in these online training sessions. For this exercise, we are going to set the module icons to a large display setting, making them easier for you to identify. Take your mouse and click on the View menu in the top left of the window. Locate the Large Module Icons option in the menu. If there is not a check next to the option, click with your mouse to check it off. This will increase the size of the icons. If the settings on your computer do not display the entire module bar, take your mouse and click to the far left of the first icon. You will notice that as you drag your mouse over the icons, a tag will appear explaining the module that the icon represents. Starting in the top left, we have Inventory Management, where part and stock line information is stored. Next, we see Company Management, which contains your customer and vendor records. To the right of that is Customer Quotes, where we will be able to record pricing requests from customers, as well as send requests for pricing to vendors. Next is the Sales Order Module. To the right of that, we see the Invoice module. After that is the Purchase Order module. Skipping one to the right, we next see the Repair Order module. This group comprises the core modules. To maximize the desktop size in our training examples, we will now remove the large module icon setting. However, you may wish to leave it in place while you become more familiar with the icons. Now you will create a new username, password, and security privileges for yourself. Please note that only the system administrator is allowed to create users and set security. Use your mouse to select the user menu from the top left of the desktop. Select the security management command. In a moment, the security management window will open. On the left-hand side, you will see usernames as they are created. On the top right side, you will see a security tree where you will set privileges. First, we'll create your new user login. Select the Add Action button. 
the Adding User Information window will open. Type your username into the Username field. The username can be between 1 and 20 characters long and is not case sensitive. Type your password in the Password field and then retype it into the Confirm field. The password must be between 4 and 15 characters long. Both usernames and passwords may be letters, numbers, or a combination of the two. Remember, though, that while usernames are not case sensitive, passwords are. So be careful to note whether passwords are in capital or lowercase characters. Next, we will fill in your employee code. The employee code can be between 1 and 5 characters and will be recorded in all new records that you create, such as quotes or purchase orders. You may type the employee code in either upper or lowercase characters, but it will be forced into uppercase once the user record is created. If you leave the employee code field blank, it will be automatically filled with the username. Type your information into the first name, middle name, last name, email, phone, and fax fields as appropriate. Select OK. You will be returned to the Security Management screen, where your new username will be displayed. Now, we will grant you security privileges. You will be able to set security for every command throughout the entire program. On the right-hand side of the screen, you will see Quantum Control listed with a red X next to it and a plus sign. This is the top level of what we call the security tree. Click on the plus sign to expand the security tree. You will see the security tree expanded to the module level. You will first grant yourself full rights to a module. We'll use the Inventory Management module. Right-click on the Inventory Management module and a menu opens. Select Grant Revoke from the menu. After a moment, you will see a green check mark next to Inventory Management and next to Quantum Control. When granting security access, you give the user access not only to a specific function, but all functions needed to get to that function. This means that under your new username, you now have access to log into Quantum and full access to all functions within the Inventory Control Module. Now we grant you access to a specific command within a module. We will grant you the ability to add a company record. Left click on the plus sign next to Company Management. You will see the tree expanded to the Company Management menu level. Right click on the Add command and select Grant Revoke from the menu. You will now see green check marks next to Company Management and Add. Now we will see how to revoke security access. We will revoke your access to adding a company. Right click on the Company Management Add command and select Grant Revoke from the menu. You will now see that red X's have returned to both Company Management and Add. Now, on your own, grant yourself full access to all Quantum Core modules. The User Settings and the code tables. Once you have finished, let's log on with your new username. Take your mouse 
and select the User menu in the top left of the screen. Select Exit and Log Off. This is how you close Quantum Control. Once you have returned to your own desktop, launch Quantum Control again by double-clicking on the icon. Type in your new username and password and select OK. You will be returned to the Quantum Desktop. If you look at the top of the screen, you will see your name displayed as the user currently logged on. To recap what we have learned, we have logged in to Quantum Control as the System Administrator. We have reviewed the core module icons. We have set up a new user. We have set security privileges for the new user. And we have logged on as that user. You may now proceed to Module 1, Segment 2, System Basics 2.